All right, hey, what's going on, guys? I got the next project in the shop right now. This is an Acura Integra, late 90s model. It's been painted before in the past, but there, it does have uh, sand scratches and swelling, and there is some damage and dents, as well as some blisters that are starting to pop up. So he wants to give it a facelift. Uh, we're gonna go with the same color, but he does want to give it a, a nice little touch-up. So I'll take y'all on for the whole process, of course, like every other video. So if you're new here, my name is Ernest. I like to paint stuff. I own a paint shop here in South Texas. I do airbrush work, I do paint work, I do some light restoration work, some collision work. And custom also paint do works. industrial paint. Anything that I can paint, I do paint. So hopefully you guys like stuff like that. If y'all do, subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment down below, and let's go ahead and get started. Let's get this thing going. Okay, so the car's ready for primer. It looks like this car's been painted before, so the last time they painted it, I don't even think they primed over the bodywork, so you could see rings and unfeathered areas underneath the clear coat. So this time I'm gonna go ahead and put a whole coat of primer on all these areas so I can level it off. I'm getting it ready for paint, but what I'm doing right now is the customer wanted to install these vent hoods on the hood. So I got everything pre-measured out and spaced out where I'm gonna cut into the hood. Uh, after that's done, I'm gonna go in there and prime all that area so I can finish getting the whole thing ready for paint. All right, so the car's in the booth. It's pretty cold outside, so I actually had the heater on running for a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and close it to try to keep that warm in there. Um, I got everything ready. It took a lot of prep work to get that vehicle ready. Hopefully I can get it all shot before the temperature drop too much. I'm gonna go ahead and run the heater again in a minute after I put the base coat. So let's go ahead and get that going. I was just waiting on a few things for the job. So right now I'm addressing the nibs and there is a few runs, uh, small ones, nothing major. Uh, you know, it's hard to avoid when you're doing an overall like this, but I'm going ahead and blocking it out with 1000 grit and I'm gonna go over on a DA and a soft pad with water with 1500 and 2000 on, on all the higher panels that you can see uh, with in the field of view. And then uh, I'm gonna get it buffed out.
Okay, so I just finished putting the last finishing touches on this Acura. I just hand glazed it. Tires are shined. The customer's on his way to pick it up. I cleaned out the inside after cutting the hood vents and installing those hood vents so the motor could breathe. Fixed all the dents, uh, fixed all the old body work that was done to it. And we pretty much just went back with the OEM stock color, which is the Adriatic Blue that Acura has. Uh, really good color. Uh, looks really good in the sunlight. Depending on your field of view, it looks really good. The clear coat actually went with a new product that's new to me. It's uh, by Orion Automotive Finishes. It was called Stargazer Clear. I'll probably put a picture or a link down below. Uh, I wanted to really try something new. Uh, I, I normally use Euro Clear from Shopline, and I love that product. Uh, it, it gets kind of pricey sometimes on, on some of these lower budget paint jobs. Um, so I want to try something new. So after doing a little bit of research, I found out a lot of people recommend this Stargazer Clear. Uh, Tammy and, and uh, Robert over here, they got a really good customer support and customer product support line. So it makes it really easy to get in contact with them if you have any questions and stuff like that. So I went ahead and ordered a Stargazer Clear and I tried it out and man, wow. I am impressed, I am blown away, I'm gonna use that product more often, but I also wanna try their other products because they also have a Euro Clear in that same line, and they also have another more affordable Clear that is more uh, thin build, but pretty impressed with their products so far. I haven't ordered any candies, I haven't ordered any thinners, any primers or stuff like that, so I can't speak to that, but as far as their clear coats, I, I recommend. So I'm super excited with the way it came out. I uh, hope the customer likes it as much as I do. I just finished wrapping up all my content stuff, all my TikToks and Instagram real stuff. If you tune into the very end of this video and you're not subscribed yet, please do so. What are you doing, guys? It's not gonna hurt you anything. It's not gonna cost you anything. Hit that subscribe button for me. Drop a like button if you like the video. Hit the dislike button if you dislike the video. Drop a comment down below. Share this video with your friends. Share it on another platform. Any interaction with my page helps tremendously, guys, and I appreciate each and every one of you who has done it in the past. Got the shop cleaned out and ready to move on to the next project. So until next time, guys, later. I think I might start crying, I might get a little teary eyed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, sweet. Yeah. Yes, YouTube. It's been a it's been a long journey to get this car the way I want it, and it's uh it's happened. It has happened. Great job. Versatile coats. Yeah. El Camp Texas. Right here. Another happy customer.